Zendoc, an editable menu that helps with managing area windows. Download the file and when inside Blender, head over to Preferences, select Add-ons and click Install. Locate the file and press Install Add-on. You may need to check mark the box to initialize the add-on. In Blender, we are able to open different editor types in a variety of ways, using the editor type shortcut button at the top left. Using hotkeys. Dragging from any corner of the active workspace to create another window. Zendoc has now included another way, by placing a floating modular bar at the bottom right of each viewport. The default install allows you to minimise, maximise and close the viewport, and the final button allows you to shrink the menu. The real magic comes when right clicking on Zendoc and selecting Add Toggle Button. Area. It defines the area type that you want to have. The direction where the area type will appear on the current viewport left, right, top and bottom. Most left, right, top and bottom allows area type to be placed behind another. Allow duplicate. This allows the user to create two windows of the same type. For example, two 3D viewports. One could be perspective and your main one could be orthographic. When you close the duplicate window, it will not affect your main original 3D viewport. Size factor. This allows the user to define the size of the area type window. If you head over to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, search for Zendoc, you'll have an overview of the add-on allowing you to customise. Button tab. Each button you've created will be shown here allowing you to fine tune the behaviours. Filters tab. You're able to tell Zendox where the overlay is allowed to be shown. So if I check mark the 3D viewport, you'll see it'll vanish. Colours. Customise the colour behaviour. I just leave it as auto, but for a fast example, I'll change the button select colour. And miscellaneous. Change the overall menu layout and sizing. For my personal use, I don't really use this as intended because I call everything through pie menus. So I hide the buttons, the floating bar. And I was just wanting this mainly for the timeline and the text editor. I was getting annoyed from having to pull up the timeline from the bottom or maybe keeping it always open so you're losing space. But this add-on fixes that problem for me. I had some problems with Zendoc at the start but it got resolved really fast through their Discord channel. Just ended up being my bad for not checking uh, check mark in the workspace filter add-on tab. For me, this is a must-have little add-on. At the price of this video, nine dollars, I think it's a bargain. And I haven't pretty much all their add-ons. I know they make top-tier stuff, so it's worth checking out.